Okay. The unmistakable Jimmy Kassan says, being that you're a vampire, I take it you like vampire movies. What's your favorite? I will tell you right now, you're going to be disappointed because I don't like vampire movies. I enjoy the literature and the history. I've actually participated in vampire cults, witchcraft, voodoo. I've studied religions now for 25 years, had paranormal TV shows that were very successful. I've done voodoo rituals. Um, I've been baptized in the different religions. Um, I spent time in a cult in Germany uh, studying this. Um, I don't like to watch the movies. Well, I, this I is much more interesting than the movies. So let's take the <laughs> vampire cult, first of all, in Germany. Yeah. Well, How does that come about? Well, you know, because I just started to get into... Yeah, well, when you... D I got I to gotta see what I can and cannot say. Um, there are certain things that you need to do to get in touch with certain people who take things to an extreme. And um, there, are, there are religious cults and religious movements and, and different things that, that you need to partake in. Um, to get access to somebody. Like that, for example. Oh, I understand. So yes. once you go through... There's someone on our crew uh, also, okay. by the way. Well, once, uh, once you go through certain rituals to get into certain things, you are allowed access to the next level. I see. With vampirism, um, you know, there was a big movement in the United States at one time where they had these blood-drinking cults where people would actually bloodlet and they would, people would hmm. partake in that fantasy. It became a real sexual thing. But in Europe, Eastern Bloc Europe countries, it is part of their culture. And there are underground families people that are actually into the historical r origins of vampirism and they do some extreme, extreme types of witchcraft and rituals and I was there for a few of them. And you go to this out of curiosity, yes. having nothing to do with furthering your character for TV or anything. This is just your own personal curiosity. Yes. Yeah. hundred percent. Is it danger? Were, 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 were you ever in danger? I think the, the, the weirdest I felt was... Um, my first steps in, in Voudun, which is Voudun is voodoo. Voudun is the French word for it. Um, with a priest from Africa, with, with the, the animal sacrifices and all that kind of stuff. Um, there was a moment in that ceremony uh, because when you do these rituals, you do leave yourself open. And do I believe in it? Yes, because I still suffer the effects of these kind of things. When you get into really old school witchcraft, like I spent a week in Alistair Crowley's house in Italy and um, and we were doing these kind of things uh, down in Sicily and and uh, when you cross that line into these deep religions you do these rituals like one took three months to do the ceremony um, you you obviously uh, bring into your life certain forces that you shouldn't and you mm. and in voodoo when I did the ceremony I was doing two at once and uh, you, you have a crown on your head and the spirits when they're floating they see your crown and that's the one your guardian angel that finds you and comes to you when you leave that crown open and you don't finish the ceremony the door is open and these spirits that are so angry whatever they're flying around and when they see somebody an opportunity bad things happen to you and uh, I have the photo on my iPhone there are two they're still following me from Guatemala and um, it, it's, it's a very deep thing, and, and it's something I don't recommend, but it's just something that I like. I'm not going to gloss over that there are two spirits following you from Guatemala from, a, what, a ritual you didn't finish? Yes, and, and it was done in a morgue, and there was, a, a, uh, there was a, a, a murder that happened. There was a shootout, and two bodies came in, and uh, they were still there at the time, and they noticed you. And they make a connection. Once you make that connection, and they're lost, and, and once there's that, um, they're still there. They're, they're there. And every now and then, I, I know they're there. They make it known that they're there. And it was, the, it was what's following you from Guatemala is definitely the spirit the, yeah. of the two. Yeah, yeah. They're not rats that you did wrong that are following you. No, 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 no. It's no. the spirit of two people that were just killed when you were doing a ceremony. Yes. And you yeah. didn't... It was it just by happenstance that you're doing the ceremony and then they come yeah, in? Yeah, it was because, you know, we were in Guatemala investigating. We did an investigation there that's called a fossa comun. It's like a, um, an Olympic-sized swimming pool because there was a, um, almost a civil war in Guatemala for like 40, 50 years, and the government was just literally exterminating its people. And they would take these bodies and throw them in, the, in this big mass grave. And we went to this mass grave, and it is, you literally look into a hole like this, and you see 50, 60, 70,000 people. Um, and all these university students that couldn't afford to pay tuition would come 
and take body parts to study for their medical classes. So we follow these kids at night to see how it really worked. And in that cemetery, there's a crematorium. So, and, and we asked, you know, why is the crematorium right here? And obviously it was because of that. And uh, it had this odor, and it was just something different. And the cemetery is hundreds of years old. And, vi and Guatemala is a very violent country. So we went to the morgue to see if we could find any energies and all this kind of stuff. And uh, as we were doing the ceremony and the ritual and closing off the TV show in, this, in the morgue, an ambulance brought two fresh cadavers that had, a you know, more than four minutes hadn't passed since their death. Are your friends telling you, like, did this, like, I golf, okay? Like, you, there's other things you could do. This seems very dangerous. This seems uh, that you could have been killed yourself. Well, you know, I left... You got two demons flying over your head I, now. I, for, I, for, I, for rest, I left the wrestling world a long, long time ago, and I, I really, I started studying religions, and I, I really put a lot of time into it, and... Um, you know, my life has gone on and I've gone into different things and, and because of the television show I was doing and to further my own knowledge and learning about our history as human beings, you know, you, you come across these certain things and if you really want to know, you can't ask, you have to live it or you don't get it. So I, uh, I lived it. I'm not kidding here. Did you ever think about doing like a documentary or a, or a, a TV show? Or, or well, I did a TV show. Uh, about this? Yeah, yeah. It was on TV. Oh, okay. I clearly missed it. Well, yeah, it was, but it was, in, it was from Mexico City. You know, I slept in a morgue. I slept in this. I went into tombs. You can see it all. What YouTube. about a book it, about the different religions? And stuff. It's fascinating to me. It, it's amazing, but I didn't do it to talk about it. I did it for me. Well, that's fine, but you've done it, and it's part of your life, so why not pass your knowledge on your experiences? Um... Because what is a the private th thing? No, it's a select thing. They're not very open just to letting in the casual practitioner. Mm -hmm. You really got to prove that you're into it before they open the doors. Sure, so just so that you're right. serious and you're not some guy who's yeah. just going to. Yeah, the, the greatest thing, you know, with Thelema. Uh, I was another religion with Alistair Crowley. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the name. I know they just ca in a casual way. Yeah, yeah and uh, good Ozzy Osbourne song also. About well, Mr. Crowley. He was a real guy. Yeah, and uh, you know the whole six 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 thing bec it was because of him, and he was the the world's evilest man at one point. Um, he had a house in Italy that Mussolini and Hitler actually expelled him from the country because of his devil worship that was going on there. The house still exists. You can go to it. I've been there. And it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's evil, because he, he invoked certain things there. And, you know, he would do these six- and eight-month-long rituals. That, uh, he became insane because of it. And, you know, a lot of drugs were used in it and all that kind of stuff. Um, you, you just can't, you just don't go, hey, you know what I mean? No, of course not. You, when you put your time in, it's a small community at certain levels. They will find you, and they, they come to you. Wow. I was some guy, in, and I was in Los Angeles doing this, and... The word had gotten out. I was in a German restaurant. I, 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 my, nobody believes me until I showed my mom the book. I said, Mom, this guy came in, and I didn't know him, and he said, this is for you. And it was a copy of, uh, of the book you get um, when, you, when you cross the, the next phase into Thelema. And I, I, he just got up and walked away. And he says, you read it once, you got to rip it up, and you throw it away. I haven't read it yet. I still have it because um, it was just a moment that blew my mind. So when you get into those kind of things, it's such a small community that they, they know to find you, to invite you. The organization that you referenced on your ring, that was an entrance into this world? Because from no. what I know of that, it's not... Um, it is and it isn't. You'd be surprised. Religious. It is and it isn't. It's, it's very historical. Yes. And it's... And, and it's Some of our presidents. So. Uh, all of your presidents. Yeah. Um, this one is something that uh, I just, when you study and you learn things, uh, names come up, um, origins of things. You know, a lot of things stemmed from Egypt in that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that was, uh, once you get to a certain level, I'm a, I'm a very big fan of really knowing the true history of the Templars. Once I get to a certain level here, I will have access to people that take you to that level. So I'm, I'm, it's just furthering my studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever meet Anton LaVey? No. Okay. But I know all about him. Right. I know about him. I, I, his daughter is the whole change. I just, uh, that's not my thing. Okay. The unmistakable Jimmy Kassan says, being that you're a vampire, I take it you like vampire movies. What's your favorite? I will tell you right now, you're going to be disappointed because I don't like vampire movies. 
I enjoy the literature and the history. I've actually participated in vampire cults, witchcraft, voodoo. I've studied religions now for 25 years, had paranormal TV shows that were very successful. I've done voodoo rituals. Um, I've been baptized into different religions. Um, I spent time in a cult in Germany uh, studying this. Um, I don't like to watch the movies. Well, I, this I is much more interesting than the movies. So let's take the <laughs> vampire cult, first of all, in Germany. Yeah. Well, How does that come about? Well, you know, because I just started to get into... Well, when you... D I got I to gotta see what I can and cannot say. Um, there are certain things that you need to do to get in touch with certain people who take things to an extreme. And... Um, uh, there are there are religious cults and religious movements and, and different things that, that you need to partake in. Um, to get access to somebody. Like that, for example. Oh, um, I understand. So yes. once you go through... There's someone on our crew uh, also, okay. by the way. Well, once, uh, once you go through certain rituals to get into certain things, you are allowed access to the next level. I see. With vampirism... Um, you know, there was a big movement in the United States at one time where they had these the blood drinking cults where people would actually bloodlet and they would, people would mm. partake in that fantasy. It became a real sexual thing. But in Europe, Eastern Bloc, Europe countries, it is part of their culture. And there are underground families, people that are actually into the historical r origins of vampirism. And they do some extreme, extreme types of witchcraft and rituals. And, I was there for a few of them. And you go to this out of curiosity, yes. having nothing to do with furthering your character for TV or anything. This is just your own personal curiosity. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Is it danger? Were, 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 were you ever in danger? I think the the, the weirdest I felt was um, my first steps in in Voudan, which is Voudan is voodoo. Voudan is the French word for it, um, with a priest from Africa with the, the animal sacrifices and all that kind of stuff. Um, there was a moment in that ceremony uh, because when you do these rituals, you do leave yourself open. And do I believe in it? Yes, because I still suffer the effects of these kind of things. When you get into really old school witchcraft, like I spent a week in Aleister Crowley's house in Italy and, um, and we were doing these kind of things uh, down in Sicily and, and uh, when you cross that line into these deep religions, you do these rituals, like one took three months to do the ceremony, um, you, you obviously uh, bring into your life certain forces that you shouldn't. And, you, mm. and in voodoo, when I did the ceremony, I was doing two at once, and uh, you, you have a crown on your head, and the spirits, when they're floating, they see your crown, and that's the one, your guardian angel, that finds you and comes to you. When you leave that crown open and you don't finish the ceremony, the door is open, and these spirits that are so angry, whatever, they're flying around, and when they see somebody, an opportunity, bad things happen to you. And uh, I have the photo on my iPhone. There are two. They're still following me from Guatemala, and um, it, it's, it's a very deep thing, and, and it's something I don't recommend, but it's just something that I like. I'm not going to gloss over that there are two spirits following you from Guatemala from, a, what, a ritual you didn't finish?